basically they wanted uh, to build a hospital in the center of the area with the most growth. That, of course, in the 50s was Torrance. Torrance was located in the heart of the South Bay's explosive growth in the 1950s and 60s, when the population grew nearly 400 percent. In 1950, the population of Torrance was 22,241. At the end, at 1960, we went to 103,000 people. So you can see there was great need for the hospital. Not only that, this hospital, Little Company Mary, was meant to serve not only Torrance, but Palos Verdes and the beach cities and uh, Gardena, some of the northern communities. Now considered a Torrance landmark, Providence Little Company of Mary Hospital is the city's third oldest major medical facility. It follows Torrance Memorial Medical Center, founded in 1925, and the Riviera Community Hospital, which would eventually merge with Torrance Memorial in 1967. A new hospital is a great booster opportunity for any community. And uh, these gentlemen really understood what a new hospital could mean for the community. Those gentlemen included Torrance Mayor Albert Eisen, Sam Levy, hospital board co-chairman who headed the fundraising, and third generation banker George W. Post. Hollywood Riviera resident and Orange County land developer George Schneider handled the acquisition of the vacant land. The Reverend Monsignor Thomas J. O'Dwyer, Director of Health and Welfare for the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, was another key player. In order to get money from the federal and state governments, which they did to help finance um, Will Company of Mary Hospital, they had to show that the community was behind such a project. And of course, uh, the sisters, uh, the city, would not have dumped so much money without a good knowledge that this would, the hospital would have been of a great support. The hospital's unusual name comes from the Sisters of the Little Company of Mary, a congregation of nuns founded in 1877 by Mary Potter of Nottingham, England. The ministry was primarily European-based until 1893, when the sisters were invited to Chicago, where they opened their first American convent. In 1956, Cardinal McIntyre invited the Sisters of Little Company of Mary to come to Torrance to build a hospital. Upon their arrival, they received a 10-acre site from the Los Angeles Archdiocese. Four sisters traveled to California from Chicago to finalize building plans, help organize the staff, and begin fundraising efforts. In December of 1957, ground broke on the 10-acre site for the five-story building to be shaped like a cross. The four-wing structure would house 150 beds to serve not only Torrance patients, but residents from surrounding South Bay communities. The hospital officially opened on January 3, 1960. In its first year alone, 1,500 babies were born at the new hospital. Well, the city was already on the map, and in fact growing uh, much so in the 60s as well. In the 50s, late 50s, mid-50s, Torrance won the All-American City Award, and their motto was growth without strain. So here's another example of growth. Many people coming into Torrance for the new industries in aerospace, commercial, industrial, buying homes in the area, so a residential portion, and now we have new uh, hospitals to take care of that population. Again, good planning for a balanced city. When Little Company of Mary Hospital opened in 1960, nurses' salaries were $2.20 an hour, and homes in the area sold for under $15,000. Fast forward 50 years, the hospital has expanded many times, including the $55 million state-of-the-art Hannon Tower built in 2002. In 2007, Little Company of Mary purchased the land where the Daily Breeze operated for more than 40 years. Demolition began in October of 2011 with plans to build a new medical office building. In 1992, San Pedro Peninsula Hospital became part of the Little Company of Mary South Bay Health Network. In 2009, the hospital officially changed its name to Providence Little Company of Mary Medical Center, thanks to its partnership with Providence Health and Services. Now, it was a unique hospital too because reading the old article, 
They built it so they could add more floors on top of it when the need um, arrived. And almost immediately after they opened, they found they needed to expand the hospital. And in fact, as you see in Torrance Boulevard now, it's still, uh, still growing. The Torrance facility currently has 436 beds and admits more than 17,000 patients each year. It is recognized as one of the leading hospitals in Southern California, not only for its state-of-the-art facility, but for its patient care and staff. Colleen Farrell with the Centennial History Minute.